Hello and welcome to Not Quite Kerbal Space Program today because I'm talking about how to install mods into Point 20, which is actually a lot simpler than in previous versions. In previous versions, you used to have things like this one where it would have stuff like parts and then other things would have stuff like uh, um, not flags because that's new, uh, props, resources, sounds, uh, spaces, source. Source folders are not necessary at all. They're uh, they're the source code that was compiled into the plugins. For instance, this is the Fire Spitter mod I'm looking at right here. Of course, Fire Spitter has been updated to point twenty. So what we do is, as you can see, it comes with the game data folder in it, and inside that is the Fire Spitter data uh, folder. And inside there is parts, plugins, flags, etc., etc. So what you do is you copy the game data, and you paste it right over the game data you already have there and of course you'll be asked uh, to combine them and you say yes of course um, now on my computer you'll see an interesting little thing pop up in a moment there it is um, it's gonna complain that there's already a folder in there called plugins which I'll say yes to and then it's gonna say there's already a firespitter.dll that's because I have b9 installed and b9 comes with the firespitter dll in it um, so in this case, I'm just going to look and see that this one's newer, so I'm going to click that one. So it's not going to copy it, because the one that's already in there with the B9 is a newer version. So I'm just going to leave that alone. So there you go, I've just installed Fire Spitter. Here's uh, a mod called Aviation Lights, which just adds some, uh, as the mod name says, Aviation Lights. So I'm going to add that one in there. And as you can see, here it is. Parts, plugins, source. Again, source isn't necessary, but hey, it's there, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Now, here's a mod that hasn't been updated for point 20. In fact, it is in point 18.2. So, uh, what you have to do with this mod is you have to install things the old way. So, this is a parts folder. So, it needs to go over the parts folder in the root directory. Pay attention up here at the top, the root directory, which in this case is KSB 0.20.2 modded. I, I named it that because that's what it is. But basically, I'm going to paste it here. And, of course, combine because it's putting it in the parts folder. And there you go. Those are the new parts. And that's simply because that mod hasn't been updated. Now, I thought initially you could make it its own folder in here, in the game data folder and put it in like that, but that doesn't work, so you have to put it in like the old-fashioned way if it's an old-fashioned mod. Um, here's, uh, oh look, hey, look at that. Put everything in this folder, there you go. See? Really simple. That one even came with how to install it, and that's uh, Romfair Laser Guided Weapons, which for some reason wasn't, uh, whatever. So, okay it's copying in and of course now I have this how to install file here which I don't really want so I'm just gonna get rid of that and I have this readme here which I'm just gonna throw in the game data actually I'm going to throw it in the ROM fair folder which is where all this stuff is huh that's interesting the DLL is not inside a plugins folder that's something I haven't seen before but um, there you go that's how it works I'm installing these mods oh yes one other thing I need to mention if you have the Steam version, go to your computer, go to C. If you have Program Files x86, it's in there. If not, if you don't have that, you have just Program Files, it's in there. You go in there, you find Steam, you go down to Steam Apps, you go to Common, and then in here is either a folder called KSP or Kerbal Space Program. To be honest, I don't know because I don't have it through Steam, but that's where you find it if you have it on Steam. Now, of course, um, through Steam, you can also, um, you can just copy the folder out of there and put it wherever you want, and it'll still work because there's no DRM blocking it from working if you move it. So you can just put it in there the way you want to. So you can have multiple copies and different saves of different versions and whatnot and whatnot. Okay, another couple quick tips. Um craft files they go in the ships folder sph or vib now there is an important distinction to make this ships folder is considered stock ships any ships you place in there will be accessible to any save game and you won't be able to delete them from within the game however when you go into saves and you go into a random whatever not scenarios and training but a different one um, in this case i have a really weird named one and there's a ships folder in here and that's the same thing except those ships you can delete and modify and whatever inside the game and they only apply to that save 
another thing, okay, let's say, for instance, let's go find a ship. Um, there won't be any in there, so let's go here. Okay, ships are craft files. Now, you might download a ship. Um, let's just pretend for the moment that uh, this readme.txt is actually supposed to be a ship, right? So you downloaded this file, you open it up, and it doesn't look like it doesn't look anything like this. It actually looks a bit more like this, you, you know, ship and blah blah, all this stuff in here that you don't know what the hell it is. Uh, what you do is you simply take that txt at the end and you change it to a dot craft. Uh, the easiest way to do this is just to open it up in Notepad, go to Save As, and then type in name, you know, whatever the name is, dot craft, and then change this from dot text to all files, then you click save, and now you can see there is name dot craft in here, and then the text file is useless after that. Um, on my computer I have it set up to show the um, extensions of all files, whereas on your computer you probably won't see an exe here, or a txt here, or dot log, or whatever. So that, you know, on mine, I can just easily go here and change it, but on yours, you may not be able to do it as easily. Like I said, the easiest way is to just open up Notepad, go to Save As, and uh, there you go. Now, if you want to put a craft file in a specific save, and you only have scenarios and training here, that, of course, means you did not start any new games yet, so there's nothing in here to put it in. So you need to open up KSP and start a new game. If at any time while installing mods, um, the folder that you need to put something in is not here, make the folder. Like, for instance, if you somehow don't have a plugins folder and you need to put a plugin in there, make a plugins folder. New folder. Type in plugins. I'm not actually going to do it right because there's already a folder there. Let me delete that. Okay, let me show you some things about how to manage Kerbal Space Program yourself if you have it in Steam. Now, of course, I don't have it in Steam, so as you can see, it's not here. So I'm just going to show you real fast on Castle Story, since I have that. So, you, as you saw just now, I right-click that, and I click Properties, and it brought up this window. And um, so, if you go to Updates, you can turn off the automatic updates here, and that means that if there's a new update to KSP and you want to make backups before you update it, you know, in case your mods break and everything, you can turn off automatic updates so that uh, you don't have to worry about that, about Steam overriding it, and you can go in there and get it. Now, a quick way to access the files without having to go searching like I was talking about earlier is you go to Local Files and you say Browse Local Files, and then it opens it up right here. In this case, like I said, Castle Story, so you can see this is Castle Story folder, not Kerbal Space Program, obviously. Um, you can also make a backup, uh, delete it, verify integrity of game cache, and betas, yeah, you know, other Steam stuff. So, that's how you handle that thing. Like I said, quick overview. New versions of the mods, they all come with a game data folder, or just maybe if they don't for some reason they have you know whatever they have some folder that's named some whatever in this case aviation lights and you copy that into the game data so everything is in its own little category and then it has the flags parts resources etc 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 if you have an old mod you copy it into this directory in here plugins go in plugins parts and parts plugin data and plugin data resources and resources etc etc it's all fairly easy Thanks for watching. Hope this helped uh, helped you out if you didn't know what you were doing. Um, thanks for watching.